Welcome, nature enthusiasts, to a world where appearances are more than just skin deep, a world where evolution weaves its artistic magic in the most fascinating ways. Today, we're diving headfirst into the mesmerizing realm of sexual dimorphism, where nature's gender play takes center stage. Imagine walking through the wild and encountering a pair of creatures, each displaying remarkable differences in size, shape, color, and features. You might be witnessing a prime example of sexual dimorphism, a phenomenon that's been captivating scientists and nature lovers alike for generations. Sexual dimorphism isn't just about aesthetics, it's nature's masterpiece of design, tailored for diverse purposes that stretch far beyond mere appearances. These differences, whether they're elaborate tail feathers, impressive antlers, or intricate mating dances, are the result of millions of years of evolution and the intricate dance of genetics and hormones. But why does nature invest so much effort in creating such stunning variations within a single species? Brace yourselves, because as we embark on this journey, we'll uncover the hidden secrets behind these differences and learn how they play pivotal roles in the intricate tapestry of life. So, stick around as we unravel the stories of creatures whose appearances are tailor-made for survival, attraction, and reproduction. From the bold to the subtle, the extravagant to the mysterious, we'll delve into the science and stories behind these amazing adaptations. Get ready to witness the extravagant costumes and fierce competitions that nature has orchestrated for the sake of evolution. Get ready to be amazed, inspired, and enlightened as we venture into the captivating world of nature's gender play, unveiling the fascinating world of sexual dimorphism in animals. 3, 2, 1. Let's dive in. At the heart of the captivating world of sexual dimorphism lies a fascinating interplay between genetics and hormones. Genes, the building blocks of life, hold the blueprint for an organism's form and function. In the intricate dance of sexual dimorphism, specific genes are responsible for the development of characteristics that distinguish males from females within a species. However, the story doesn't end there, the role of hormones adds a layer of complexity. Hormones, the chemical messengers of the body, orchestrate the expression of these genes, guiding the development of secondary sexual traits. Take, for instance, the majestic peacock. Its vibrant and captivating tail feathers are not just about looks, they're the result of an intricate dance between genes and hormones. Genes regulate the growth and coloration of the feathers, while hormones like testosterone surge during mating season, enhancing the display's grandeur. This genetic and hormonal symphony is what transforms a seemingly ordinary peacock into a show-stopping masterpiece of color and beauty. From the towering antlers of stags to the intricate plumage of birds of paradise, the world of sexual dimorphism is rife with captivating examples of how males and females within a species express themselves differently. One of the most iconic examples is the case of body size differences. In many species, males tend to be larger and more robust, a trait that often reflects their role in competing for mates or defending territories. Consider the case of deer where male stags sport impressive antlers while females lack these extravagant appendages. These antlers are not only ornamental, they're also weapons for competing against other males during the rutting season. This contrast in antler size exemplifies the concept of sexual selection, where traits that increase an individual's chances of reproductive success are favored by evolution. Feathers, too, tell tales of gender differences in the avian world. Take the mandarin duck, for instance. The males of this species sport flamboyant plumage adorned with vibrant colors and intricate patterns. These displays aren't just for aesthetics, they're part of an elaborate courtship dance designed to attract females. The females, on the other hand, exhibit more subdued plumage, a reflection of their distinct roles in reproduction. As we delve deeper into the captivating world of sexual dimorphism, we'll uncover even more extraordinary stories of adaptation, attraction, and evolution, each revealing the intricate mechanisms that give rise to nature's breathtaking gender play. In the wild world of sexual dimorphism, appearances often hold the key to successful mate selection. These striking differences between males and females are not just happenstance, they're carefully honed signals that convey crucial information about an individual's fitness and genetic quality. From the glint of a vibrant feather to the resonance of a melodious call, these traits serve as alluring advertisements that potential mates can't ignore. 
Consider the elaborate courtship displays of the Bowerbird, where males meticulously arrange colorful objects to create intricate bowers in an attempt to impress females. The size, symmetry, and arrangement of these displays signal the male's health, vigor, and ability to gather resources. Females scrutinize these displays to assess whether a male is capable of providing for offspring. Thus, sexual dimorphism goes beyond mere aesthetics, it becomes a language of desire, speaking volumes about the potential partner's genetic prowess. Nature's canvas is painted with examples of extravagant traits that have evolved purely to captivate potential mates. The peacock's resplendent fan of feathers, for instance, is a quintessential example of an exaggerated trait designed solely for attraction. The sheer size and vibrant hues of the peacock's tail serve as a vivid indicator of its genetic robustness, a quality that appeals to peahens seeking a suitable partner for reproduction. Moving underwater, we encounter the charismatic anglerfish. Here, the sexual dimorphism narrative takes a dramatic twist. The females, endowed with a bioluminescent lore hanging from their foreheads, emit an alluring glow in the pitch-black depths. This luminescent beacon attracts smaller, parasitic males who attach themselves to the female's body. The exaggerated lure of the female serves as both a means of attracting a mate and as a source of sustenance for the male once he's attached. The concept of sexual dimorphism often extends its reach into the delicate balance of predator-prey relationships. For prey species, the ability to avoid detection can be a matter of life and death. This is where the art of camouflage, aided by sexual dimorphism, comes into play. Consider the stick insect, where males and females sport remarkably different appearances. The female's appearance mimics a twig, complete with subtle shading and texture, allowing her to blend seamlessly into her environment. The male, however, displays bolder and more conspicuous colors, which he uses to attract females. This divergence in appearance ensures the survival of the species, females escape detection by predators, while males engage in reproduction. Beyond concealment, the male seahorse presents another example of adaptation driven by sexual dimorphism. In seahorses, it's the males who carry and give birth to the young. To accommodate this unique reproductive role, the male's body has evolved a pouch structure. This adaptation underscores the incredible flexibility of sexual dimorphism, not just in terms of appearance, but also in the allocation of roles within a species. In the vast tapestry of the natural world, there are instances where sexual dimorphism takes on an extreme and mesmerizing form, leaving us in awe of nature's creativity. These extreme examples push the boundaries of what we thought was possible, unveiling the remarkable diversity of strategies that species have evolved to ensure their survival and reproductive success. One such example is the anglerfish, where sexual dimorphism has taken an astonishingly bizarre turn. In this deep-sea dweller, the diminutive male fuses with the female, essentially becoming a parasitic attachment. The male's sole purpose is to provide sperm to the female whenever she's ready to reproduce. This extreme adaptation showcases just how far sexual dimorphism can stretch, evolving into a strategy that maximizes reproductive efficiency in the challenging abyssal depths. While sexual dimorphism often follows patterns that align with reproductive roles, there are instances that defy conventional understanding, giving rise to fascinating evolutionary puzzles. These enigmatic cases challenge scientists to uncover the hidden forces driving such counterintuitive differences between sexes. Another puzzle lies in the world of sexual selection. In some instances, it seems that the extravagant traits that define sexual dimorphism are at odds with survival. The elaborate tail feathers of the male peacock, for instance, make him a more visible target for predators. This raises the question, why would such a trait persist if it seems to hinder survival? Scientists theorize that these traits serve as handicaps, showcasing the male's genetic quality and ability to withstand the challenges of his environment. Throughout this journey, we've peeled back the layers of this phenomenon to reveal its significance in the grand drama of evolution, reproduction, and adaptation. We've witnessed the interplay of genes and hormones shaping appearances, the allure of exaggerated traits in the realm of attraction, and the ingenious strategies that species employ to survive and thrive in their diverse habitats. From the flamboyant feathers of peacocks to the subtle camouflage of stick insects, the world of sexual dimorphism holds stories that defy expectations and challenge our understanding of the natural world. 
It's a symphony where every note, every trait, every behavior has been carefully composed by the forces of evolution, resulting in the mesmerizing display of diversity we see today. As we close this chapter of exploration, we invite you to reflect on the remarkable dance of life that unfolds through sexual dimorphism. The animal kingdom's intricate gender play is a testament to the wondrous ways in which species have adapted to their environments, sought mates, and overcome challenges through the lens of differentiation. It's a reminder that nature's palette is rich and varied, showcasing the limitless potential of adaptation and the ceaseless cycle of life's evolution. So, let us move forward with a renewed appreciation for the diversity that enriches our world. Let us cherish not just the bold and the beautiful, but also the subtle and the complex. Let us delve deeper into the fascinating world of sexual dimorphism, recognizing that beneath the surface lies an awe-inspiring tale of survival, attraction, and connection. As you step away from this exploration, remember the words of biologist and author E. O. Wilson, nature holds the key to our aesthetic, intellectual, cognitive, and even spiritual satisfaction. In the intricate dance of sexual dimorphism, we find a profound connection to the heart of nature's mysteries, reminding us of our place within this wondrous web of life.